John Eric Pola here with my MMA news on this Matchmaker Monday where we take a look at the fights from this previous weekend and figure out what's next for some of the fighters on the card. In this week's episode, we'll be looking at the main event from this past weekend which consisted of Gilbert Burns and Tyron Woodley. In the fight, Gilbert Burns dominated on way to a easy unanimous decision win and now we figure out what's next for both of those guys on this Matchmaker Monday starting with Gilbert Burns. Up next for Gilbert Burns, I see a fight with Leon Edwards. Following the biggest win of Burns' career, he surprised everyone when he called out his own teammate and welterweight king, Kamaru Usman. Unfortunately though for Burns, I don't see the UFC giving him that title shot. Instead, you take Edwards, who's currently sitting over in England right now, demanding either a title fight or a number one contenders fight. So, I think we just found our next title elimination fight in the welterweight division. I mean, I think it makes a lot of sense because you have Usman who already has a win over Covington and if the UFC is going to book an Usman and Jorge Masvidal fight, that only leaves Burns and Edwards left. Now, Covington's a wild card in all of this because he could fight for a championship just like that. But however, the fact that he's no longer with the American top team, I would imagine that he's going to need some time to get a new gym and get that whole situation figured out. However, putting all that stuff with Covington to the side, just look at Burns and Edwards for a moment. They are two guys that bring new blood to the top of the division, and definitely both men are deserving of the opportunity, and I think that's the direction that the UFC is going to go in next. And now let's move on to Tyron Woodley, who lost to Gilbert Burns by unanimous decision in that main event. I think up next is Colby Covington. I know just before I said there's some issues going on with Colby. He might take some time off, but... We'll just look at it where Colby is looking for a fight. I think Tyron Woodley makes a lot of sense. Here's why. Covington and Woodley have had this feud going for a while now, and everybody knows that. They know they've been calling each other out, that they want to fight each other. I think it's time that we finally do this fight once and for all. If Covington cannot get another title fight, and then if the UFC goes ahead and books Usman and Masvidal, Covington's going to need a dance partner, and I think that Woodley fits the bill there. Yes, Woodley is on a two-fight losing streak, and he hasn't looked good in his last two outings. I understand that. You understand that. But just keep this in mind. He's a former champ, and there's a beef between him and Covington. Whenever there's two people that dislike each other, they put up big numbers. Not to mention, forget about the whole entire beef. You have Covington, whose mic skills could sell any fight. Put them at a press conference together, and this fight will put up big numbers for the UFC. Now, if Covington isn't Woodley's next opponent, I think you're going to see Jeff Neal probably sneak into that type of a spot because Neal's an up-and-coming fighter, um, and, and Woodley being a former champ, that seems like a booking that I could definitely see happening, and then it, from the ranking standpoint, probably going to make sense. But I seriously think if the UFC needs a fight night that's going to get a lot of views, make a lot of money, put it on ESPN, plenty of people around the world will watch it, Colby Covington versus Tyron Woodley. Well, that'll do it for this Matchmaker Monday, but before we head out, I just want to remind everyone to keep reading my MMA news. Also, please check out our Facebook, our Instagram, and our Twitter accounts as well. That's it for now, though. See you later, everyone.